assign a priority to tasks, uh, space the tasks over time and find out appropriate environmental adaptation. For instance, for children, simply moving the desk at school, uh, uh, moving uh, uh, ahead the desk was a good strategy for improving attention problems. And then we have cognitive training since, as I have mentioned, due to the brain plasticity, brain can improve. I have no time to go through this. This is a computerized program to uh, train uh, specific aspects of attention. This is selective attention. We used it. It's like a game in children, quite useful. And the last slide. There are promising results, exciting results that come from a preliminary functional MRI study that show that brain can indeed uh, change the activation uh, in order to compensate after training. In this study, in particular, patients uh, had memory dysfunction and they underwent a computerized training specific, sorry, they had attention problems, attention problems, and they underwent a computerized training for attention. And comparing functional MRI before the training and after the training, we can observe an increased brain activation that interestingly is specific for the function that had been trained. Uh, and involved three areas in the brain that are critical in the attention network. And I feel that uh, in the future, the functional MRI study will be increasingly used uh, for monitoring the results of uh, uh, treatment strategies. Finally, I would like to acknowledge my young collaborator at the University of Florence and to thank all of you very much for your extremely kind attention.